So, Jimmy Young, Steve King here from Penticton, the home, of course, of Ironman Canada and Ultraman Canada. So you celebrate your 50th on 11th of October and receive 50 gifts. And here you are, January 7th, celebrating retirement after 25 years with the Michigan State Police. You've rightly been the recipient of meritorious service and life-saving awards for, amongst other actions, rescuing a man from a burning car and helping free an innocent man from a life sentence through forensic video analysis. And what a racing resume you have. Number one downhill, a giant slalom in the 13 to 15 year old division in the US, the whole of the US. You've been competing in triathlon since 1999. You're a USAT All-American with 32 Ironman races to your credit, a member of the Sub 10 Hours Club for Ironman and having done three world championships on the Big Island as well. You've crewed at the Epic Camp and crewed at the World Ultraman Championships. You've recently completed the Ultraman Canada event and the Ultraman World Championships on the Big Island. And amazingly, you finished both of them within a, a mere four month period. So now it's time to bask in the afterglow for a while. From here on in, it'll be about coaching, golfing, being a musician and a songwriter. It'll be enjoying the rhythm of the long ride or run, all the strokes and the kicks in the endless pool. It'll be continuing to be a great community citizen, such as further fundraising for Special Olympics, just as you did with the Law Enforcement Torch Run. Now it is said that once the badge goes on, it never really comes off. It fuses to the soul through adversity, through fear and adrenaline. And for you, Jimmy, it has been worn with pride, integrity, courage and guts, of course. It is also said that when a good officer leaves a job and retires to a so-called better life after a lifetime of camaraderie that few experience, that it will remain as a longing for those past times. We know that in the law enforcement life there is a fellowship which lasts long after the uniforms are hung up. Now we also know how the very bearing of the man speaks of what he was and in his heart always will be. You're really only escaping the job and merely being allowed to leave active duty. So what I wish for you is that whenever you ease into retirement, in your heart you never forget that you are still a member of one of the greatest fraternities the world has ever known. And in the spirit of another fraternity to which you also belong, we have to remember the values of that fraternity, the values of Aloha, Ohana and Kokua and I'm sure with you they're going to thrive. The family and fraternity of one's race crew, of one's partners and one's literal family, whether it be accruing for Olaf Berg, partnering with Mike Lennox, or having a life partner with Jane. They all exemplify the values demonstrated by your exemplary actions and attitude of gratitude. So my friend, may the force be with you I look forward to seeing you, Jane, and your awe-inspiring crew elsewhere at the races. So today I want you to embrace the celebration and enjoy the Olympic year ahead. Jimmy Young, my friend, you the man. Try to keep fit. <laughs>